Bite templates are used in order to determine the jaw position or relation in people without teeth or with severely reduced teeth. The position of the lower jaw is not constant. An example is when you wake up in the morning and your two jaws don't fit as well with each other as they did the previous day. It's only after a few chewing motions that our jaw musculature once again finds the proper jaw position by means of the sensitive pressure receptors in the periodontium. Now the day can begin. You can find out more in the video entitled Bite. Since the position of our lower jaw is not constant, it must be relearned again and again. If the lower jaw is forced into an unfavorable position, for example, due to a bad dental prosthesis, this may cause facial pain, jaw joint pain, or even headaches. In toothless individuals, or those with very few teeth, the technician needs a reference point that shows how the jaws generally position or relate with each other. This reference point is provided by the bite template. Here you see how such a bite template is produced with the aid of a plaster model. The dentist first takes impressions of both jaws. The dentist provides the technician with a rough idea of the positioning or relation of the jaws by means of a so-called squeezer. This is a silicone compound that is placed between both jaws and then hardens. Once hardened, the impressions and the squeezer are given to the technician, who can now produce plaster models, position them roughly towards each other, and ultimately produce a proper bite template. As soon as the dentist receives the bite templates from the technician, the patient visits the dentist a second time so that his bite can be taken. The dentist places the bite template in the patient's mouth. Bite templates can be produced for both lower and upper jaws, depending on the remaining teeth. The patient bites carefully, thus creating impressions in the wax wall of the bite template. The dental technician is now able to position the plaster models in a definite relationship to each other. Now the prosthesis can be produced in the articulator. In most cases, a so-called wax setup is created, meaning that the teeth in the prosthesis are not yet mounted in plastic, but rather in wax. When the patient tries on the wax setup, the dentist checks whether the data transmitted by the bite template was correct. The patient must feel comfortable with his teeth. Thanks to the wax setup, the teeth can be moved slightly, and the bite can be corrected as needed. It's only when everything fits perfectly that the prosthesis is considered complete.